Oh my gosh, literally two minutes left. Hey guys, I'm about to head out. Wish the lighting was so much better in here. Okay, this is a lot better. But now y'all can't see my full body and don't mind our ashy floor. I literally just had to strip the floors earlier. Um, and then Jeremy has been reinstalling these doors and painting and getting it together y'all because y'all already know what's going on. But um, yeah, so don't mind that. This is my look of the night. I'm about to go out to have lunch. No, not lunch, dinner. It's 536, dinner with my friends. And this whole entire outfit is from Shein, real cute. You're in the last few of my winter slash spring outfits out because y'all, the weather is playing crazy with us. This glueless unit I showed you guys. Actually, I don't know if this, no, this is a glueless unit. Y'all, my freaking time is running out. Let me turn around so I can see the face, girl. So freaking cute. So, oh, a little. Oh, I hate when it. Oh, I hate when it happens. It don't look like that in real life, but it's looking crazy. Okay. Hey guys, Keisha here, and I am on my way to dinner with my friends. Like I just said in the last clip. <clears throat> I am really excited because I've been holding myself accountable to these different outings with my friends. <clears throat> you guys know it's been a little over a year since my childhood best friend Anissa passed away and it literally, came, <clears throat> I don't want to say it came out of nowhere because she was sick, but of course with all sicknesses, um, you really don't expect a sudden passing if it wasn't like a chronic illness I don't really know how to explain it but um anyways it touched my heart so much me and Anissa were best friends in middle school sixth seventh and eighth grade and we went to high school and we had different friend groups she was still in band I was in band as well because I was auxiliary she played it no she didn't major it she did flag she was like flag um girl dancing or whatever it is and she was so good at it um and whatever and then we kind of lost connection when I switched over to Westlake because y'all know I transferred high school in my junior year and I didn't communicate with anyone for an entire year at my previous high school it was just so emotional for me as a child y'all we even about to get into all that but anyways fast forward you guys know like those childhood friends childhood best friends those people you grew up with and those relationships you have and sometimes life gets the best of you so we still communicated I spoke to her sister a lot I was really close with her sister as well Imani and I still spoke to um them like they supported my businesses I supported Imani's business she had a um she well she still does have a black owned business doing um what is it called she's a chef so yes you guys remember she was a private chef for us a couple of years back i don't remember if i introduced her on the vlog when she was cooking but y'all when i say she is bomb like imani is one of those girls who just knows how to do it all she um was great at hair makeup and cooking like it was just like all of that but anyway so yeah like anisa we always used to talk about like getting together catching up in person um she did meet the girls when they were much younger but just all of that so we had just finished talking not too long before she passed and then she passed away and i'll never forget because she was the last one to have messaged me so when i went back and i read our messages because i'm like i was super busy like i had so many things going on it was never intentional of course but it was just like i get so many messages on my dms that's why um i try to do better with checking my dms especially from people who i know in real life because being an influencer you know people we not only have our personal um friends and relationships and family members that know us and you know respond and reply like we have an audience of people who truly enjoy watching and supporting us and you guys are my family like a lot of y'all keys like y'all have grown up with me or are older than me so watch me growing up um and have been here from the very beginning from when i was 20 i'm 30 years old now so a lot of y'all truly truly like are like family and friends like true friends to me because y'all always are riding for me always supporting whatever i'm do, doing checking in on me commenting like engaging all of those things so it was i i, I don't want to make excuses for it because i just 
I just literally dropped the ball with following up with us finally going out in person like we should have and it just it just crushed my soul y'all because like I said when she passed away I took it really hard I've never lost anyone in my life that I had a true close relationship with so it was like it was really really hard so after that I had decided that I wanted to move forward with doing um bi-weekly or at least monthly outings with all of my best friends whoever can make it like come so at least most for the most part people like we're always staying engaged always staying connected and we're not missing out on each other's lives because life can just get so busy and I'm just so grateful that ever since her passing I have literally been able to maintain it so you guys do see a lot of those outings um now um more frequently because I'm like really staying consistent with it and I knew I was like okay I've been super busy with real estate super busy with being a mom and then um we're about to go out of town and just so much other stuff so I was like who's available so we all coordinated and I'm super excited y'all to just catch up with my girl so sorry for the long backstory especially for those who have heard me talk about Anissa's passing before but I don't really apologize because to be honest y'all that was my girl like her memory is living on forever and a day I would never stop talking about my girl because that that's like that was my sister and I love her so much rest in peace to Anissa um but on another note I will say I, if y'all would have saw what I I should have vlogged my entire day so y'all could really see how I, I how I put this ish together every single time because your girl Y'all know we back to doing DIY house projects, um, finishing up some stuff. Like I said, babe had to put those doors up. Finally, we never went back and got those doors, y'all. We never went back. And I think a part of it was, I told you guys, I was super disappointed. After our first contractor um, left and then had severe COVID, I still to this very day do not know what happened to him. Now his phone is disconnected. Like, oh my gosh, I'm just trying not to think the worst. And then we had to go like rush and get different contractors for different things and it was just like scam at the scam at the scam i think people just came in saw a big house and was like yes i can do everything and then literally couldn't do none of the ish that we needed them to do so um yeah that was that and after a while we were spending much more money than we anticipated and we kind of just stopped doing projects and then we had to sell the house and all the other stuff so well, not had to, but wanted to. So, anyways, we're kind of finishing up just a few things that should have been finished up a while ago. So, um, I was just doing some DIY stuff at the house. And then I had to leave abruptly, pick up the girls, come back. And I should have asked Babe to pick up the girls, but it's neither here nor there. Um, then I had to go show a house. And then I had to come home. And I had 15 minutes to look like this. To look like... Look like wait y'all i thought something was going on my wig hold on let me make sure that my settings is right because um jayla got me paranoid now because we both got sony's and she was hollering about the same thing i'd be hollering about when you put your camera in slow-mo accidentally and then it does not record the audio let me hold on i'm back it was good it's good and i see there's a little okay there we go but anyway so like i was saying can we talk can we talk for a little bit you guys i feel like we're so disconnected now because i don't vlog anywhere near like i went from dropping y'all off to 50 percent vlogs to you know no actually i think i feel i feel like before I was at 100% vlog almost every day on day. Then I dropped y'all down to 70%. And most of y'all were okay with the 70%. Then I had to go down to 50%. Your girl is now down to 5%. Like, I am hanging on by a thread getting these videos out to you guys. And um, I have two exciting things. So, first things first, I totally forgot to vlog it in the last vlog. But when we went to the game last week to go and y'all saw us on the floor or whatever, we are now officially State Farm Arena seat holders. So, your girl owns a seat at the State Farm Arena. Clap it up for me. Um, I don't know. I feel like I I filmed my seat on my phone when we were there. And then I was editing and then 
I think I started rendering the video and totally forgot to even tell you guys that big news which should have been attached to that vlog but yes you guys so I purchased a seat at the State Farm Arena so it's mine I'm super excited but it won't be until the next season so 2020 well it really starts they said 2024 October so I am so excited I'll be going to more games and just we get a lot of perks and benefits if you guys want to know about how that whole process works I never knew um, the total price to be a seat holder it varies but we are very close to the floor and we get so many benefits parking passes um, we also did pick the seats because there's different tiers to being a seat holder so we we got tier one where we um, get complimentary food like like we get to go to the chase um lounge area with all like the vip seat holders and we get food drinks and all of that and i'm just super excited i was trying to get pictures um and all that while i was there that i didn't even pick no actually i remember i didn't bring my vlog camera because i was like i don't know if i can bring my vlog camera into the um into the arena so that's what happened and i just had to rely on my phone and that's why y'all didn't see the footage but yeah so i just had to say that i'm super excited about that um now i didn't run out of gas <sighs> y'all can we make it to this restaurant on e because babe will be hollering if he heard that noise but the other thing was i feel like the whole disconnect thing that i was talking about since i don't vlog as much i be forgetting to tell y'all a lot of stuff update y'all about a lot of stuff but what i will say is this before i get, get off and let y'all go because i think the rest of this vlog is probably going to be me going to spring break I, no actually no 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 i'll vlog the next few days and then let the spring break break footage be the spring break footage spring break footage because i know when y'all see us traveling y'all don't want to see the prequel to the travel y'all want to get right to the eventful stuff so i'll go ahead and vlog tomorrow and saturday and then drop it on monday and then y'all see our travel stuff later on but um i have been working on something and i have been talking to my friends and my family and my man about releasing said stuff y'all are hearing it first because y'all are my keys and my duns and y'all are my riders and I love y'all so much. But I have been working on something because, how can I say this? How can I say this? I'm trying to put it in the right words. What I'm about to release I don't want to say you guys because it's a bittersweet thing to finally release this but it's the bitter portion of it because it's not like super positive if that makes sense it's not really like I'm excited and happy about it but I feel a sense of urgency to deliver and share and a little nervousness if I do if I'm honest about it but just know very soon y'all I'll be releasing something and I'm gonna let y'all know when it drops um because I think that you know when you, the saying you give someone an inch they take a mile i think that saying fits well with the with i have to release it's about giving an inch and taking a whole fucking um city worth of distance and it's like i said it's like to say something but not say nothing is always hard and i know y'all be hating when influencers and stuff like that like talk about like oh something is coming something is coming but y'all know me when i say something is coming something is coming and one thing for sure and two things for certain ain't nothing real or true until it comes out of keisha kaylee's mouth so just know very soon i'm trying to coordinate the dates 
I have so much stuff going on with being under contract with these properties. I have my buyers that are still currently searching for properties. Like I'm just trying to get, I also need to get a new transaction coordinator to deal with the paperwork aspect or not even paperwork because you don't really have too much paperwork as a real estate agent. We are independent contractors. We work for ourselves through a brokerage. I think a lot of people also don't understand that, but that's neither here nor there. But, um, I do need a, a TC, a new TC, because our TC who's on our team, she switched over brokerages. Oh, look at the makeup. Oh, I look cute. But yeah, so our TC that was on our team switched over brokerages, and um, yeah, she's no longer there. So I am looking for someone who could literally be my rider because I need somebody to be better than me at the paperwork aspect of it and the timeliness of it and when i'm managing so many different things i gotta get an order to it because you guys know i have the credit repair not credit repair because i always gotta throw that in there and by the way you guys are watching this april 1st um if you guys are interested in getting your credit repaired then please hit me up today because I have buy two for 500 special. So the original price is 300, but if two people come together and it doesn't have to be your man, your husband, your wife or nothing like that, just two people it can be you and your cousin, you and your sister, you and your mom, whomever, just two people for the price of, not for the price of one, but significantly discounted. And your girl is getting results. Your girl is yielding results. And I'm gonna post some reviews across the screen. I don't really talk about how good I am. I kind of just let you guys, when when the results pop up, I like to post. And I don't even post all of them because y'all, y'all will be overwhelmed if I always posted all of my credit repair. Speaking of, let me pay attention. Oh, y'all, watch this have been where I was supposed to get off. I know it. Oh, hold on, hurry up, car. Okay. Oh, freak. Okay, let me just wing it because I just know I'm supposed to get off right here. This The address is not even up right now but i just know it i know this is where i'm supposed to get off yeah 51b that's why i need me getting off oh y'all been y'all know i've been watching my true crime stuff yeah this is sorry but i've been watching my true crime stuff i gotta take a break from it too much true crime can really do something on your head y'all i be out every little thing make me feel like there's a true crime something waiting to happen and i'll be like girl get out your dang old head this is not true crime this is real life what true crime happens in real life so i'm not downplaying it whatsoever but i'm like i think i've been watching it too much y'all like way too much so um i've picked i'm trying to find a new show to watch and i'm like nothing is like piquing my interest after like the first two episodes i'm like oh this is so whatever so now i found someone had posted on their instagram uh, a reel about the secret life of the American teenage what is it secret life of the American teenager yeah that so I never watched that so I watched the first episode it was cute and it's just something different so I'm like okay let's just see if we can get through that so let me watch another episode while I'm on my way because we in this traffic y'all and this is not looking good and I'm out of gas as we know my thing just went off <laughs> so this is the restaurant we're going to you guys it literally took a fucking miracle to find a parking spot. Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry, God, for saying it like that. Go find my table with my friends. It smells heavenly in here. Yeah, that's that room not gonna be shot. Right. Okay. Are we good? Yes, we're great. Thank you so much. So if you get an email by nine tomorrow morning, put oh. the links to download the photos. Okay, okay. Everything's good to go. Thank you. Thank you. 
Jeremy's iPad is in the closet. Nothing is in my room. Okay, so okay. Anyways, you guys, I have not. Well, I've done a house tour, but we haven't updated you guys in a while um, with how the house turned out. And the photographer just left. We're about to put the house back on the market. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. So I wanted to give a final little walkthrough before we, the, well, not we, but the girls <laughs> take part in, you know, being kids. So this is the master bedroom. We had a very, very large master bedroom. So that's exactly what we went with. So we had the shiplap and we had like a lot of the rustic wood type of vibes going on. I think that's the terminology, don't quote me, but y'all already get what I'm talking about. Like this wooded texture, like I just love that all throughout. Um, I think I'm still not over the modern farmhouse vibes. I just really, really love that style. So in our new home, which we are gonna take y'all to our meeting and I'll film a little bit. We have a meeting, so I haven't updated you guys in a while. I told you guys yesterday that I haven't been talking to you guys that much. We've been getting it done, honey, behind the scenes. So just know that. And we found a house that we really love that we would have to renovate um it's absolutely gorgeous but there are things we have to renovate um however we have a meeting with one builder today and another builder when we get back from out of town and then we'll make our final decision so anyways this is just how the master bedroom looks and we got the doors up <laughs> we haven't had doors here since we literally renovated um this is the master bathroom so we already put this door in and then this door is finally up we literally never put this and i didn't have no shame in my game while i was vlogging i don't know if y'all know this in the background like this door but now we're selling the home so we just decided to freshly paint over the other doors and just put them back on the hinges and then the new homeowners can do whatever they see fit um so yeah this was the bathroom y'all remember i did this myself i renovated well not renovated but um I painted this myself, changed the hardware, and then we got brand new countertops. Um, and then this is the shower, the um, sit-in bathtub, and all that other good stuff. And one thing for sure, and two things for certain, when you are purchasing a home, the most expensive things are painting, if you have to paint the entire home, as well as floor installation. And the home that we found um, that's already on the market, it needs both. I don't like, now we could settle. I'm pretty sure if I showed y'all the home, y'all be like, oh, it's gorgeous, da, 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 cause it's a gorgeous home. Like we wouldn't be showing y'all no time soon if we did decide to go with that home. But this is the girl's room. I'm still deliberating. This was a custom furniture piece that was sent from a collaboration with the company. But I was a, um, either letting this furniture go with the sale of the home because you know, obviously we don't need it. But then I saw this girl's channel who does like renovated um like this is from restoration hardware one of the best companies ever and i was like you know what she i'm gonna put her instagram if i can find it but i'm gonna put her instagram across i think i saved it to my home folder on instagram but she does a phenomenal job like refurbishing old um dressers cabinets all that good stuff now i wouldn't do it although i love a good diy when we get to the next house i ain't trying to do no diy i'm doing pay 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 the person who knows what they're doing so we would pay so i look i looked her up and unfortunately she's not in atlanta but i'm pretty sure i can find somebody in atlanta to redo this like i really love this olive green set that she did and I just thought that was so gorgeous. And then we would, of course, do this. This bed is not going. No matter what home we decide to do, new build or whatever, the girls' room is going to be a custom-built room. So it's just a lot of dilemmas and decisions. But anyways, so this is the girls' bathroom. Y'all don't, y'all, like I said, y'all see the house while I'm vlogging, but y'all have not seen seen as a tour so since everything is clean right now because we just had to make sure the only room that was not taking pictures of like look at this y'all y'all already know my room just yeah and plus i have a lot of nice items in my room i don't want that to be on our listing photos it's just no point but yeah so the girls is, this is their girls playroom standard playroom type vibes um and then this was a lot of people's favorite bathroom when we first 
showed the house a lot of y'all love this bathroom this was previously downstairs when we first bought the home and then remember i ordered a new sink it came damaged and then the guy who was coming to install the sink was like he couldn't he was coming from like an hour away there was no other choice the next day either cancel or move forward and i was i just saw that sink sitting in our living room and i was like let me see if putting some paint on it and changing our hardware would do good and it actually looks great so and we just changed the faucets and we added the shower door we don't really use this bathroom we only use it when we were renovating our master and fixing some stuff in there and we have not been back in here since so they're getting a really nice barely used bathroom what else so i think i've shown you oh let's go the stairs we never got back around to redoing them in its entirety but Whoever the next homeowners are, I'm pretty sure they will be content. But yeah, so they're just black. There's the girls and the dining room. So a lot of the finishes, like this is a really nice. It itch. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna oil your scalp. So this is a really nice. Like the details of the home, like we really love. Like I said, the ship left right here, and like this entryway area. Like the details, the details, the details, the details. And then, of course, you guys can see um, in this room, this is the office room, the details, the details. Like when they see the finishes, the lights, the extra pieces added to the wall. I can't even think of the name of it. Um, like they're gonna absolutely love it. Y'all also, I don't know, some people were indifferent about this bathroom. It's like, hell, I'm indifferent about the bathroom. I love when we added this folding sink. We did new toilets around the whole house. And then like, we kind of should have dusted that off a little bit. It's kind of dusty, but y'all can't really tell. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just a bathroom. It's just a bathroom. It's just a bathroom. And then down here, this is our living room. One of the best parts of the home. People fall in love with it. This is the only thing I cannot stand in this living room is the ceiling fan. Um, and now the girls can add this balloon up there. Oh, freaking gosh. But Jeremy said he's gonna get it down. Um, but yeah, so let me step back so y'all can see. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And now for the woman of the hour, the kitchen. So we just finished doing a lot more touch-ups in the kitchen. Um, you guys probably wouldn't notice. I don't know how much of the kitchen y'all do see regularly, but we got the island right here everybody loves this custom island that's how your girl did herself shout out to me and then we repainted the cabinets for the 17th billion controlling time and now we finally set on this white but really really nice really really nice and then we did the custom pantry um well this was originally the pantry now it's like the you guys see what type of area this is and then this is now the custom pantry um the only reason why we didn't build the shelves out in this room right here is because originally this was the laundry room and if you guys are homeowners and know about all this type of stuff you know that there is a certain um protocol for like the draft system of the dryer that has to like filter out the house blah 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 so that system is still here we never closed it off in case because we knew we were not marrying this home it was just gonna be you know temporary thing so the new homeowners, I don't know if they're going to want to put the laundry back in here for the draft system to be in there. But we just ended, did an in-house one or indoor, whatever you want to call it, and have our laundry back here. I'm pretty sure. But you can also get the hole connected to go through out to the hole that's out through there. We just didn't want to do it, to be honest. We just didn't want to do it. But yeah, so this is the laundry room. Then we got a pantry. We actually sealed off this door, so it's not even accessible to open and close. But the new homeowners can unseal it if they see fit and open it and close it and work it and then of course we have our basement but yes y'all we love the home just in case y'all haven't baby take your hands out your mouth pretty girl y'all want to go out of town daddy asked me the same thing i just woke up and felt like let me do my makeup do you like it thank you baby Thank you, baby. I like your makeup and your makeup and your eyelash. Let me see that chill routine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. One. Where's the facials? Seven, eight. Mark one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Y'all gotta remember the detail in your motions. When your hands go up, it's a flick like this. 
it's a flick facials when we go over this we're going to be going over it 10 times a day until tryouts their tryouts are coming and i'm being a chair mom no journey didn't do it um did i show y'all this i definitely did so anyways that was our home and then we of course we have a basement um but that was our home hey guys so i'm at smoothie king um i literally woke up and had to like finish tidying up some stuff so i didn't have enough time to eat um the meeting starts in about 20 minutes so hopefully i can go over here and grab something to um eat because your girl needs to have a breakfast lunch and dinner like i always tell y'all but the Hulk smoothie from Smoothie King is one of my favorite protein, protein smoothies ever. Like, out of all the smoothie places that I've tried. So, um, I got a 32 ounce, which is huge, but it's okay. Hopefully, I can finish it. Um, yeah, that was a little bit, but I don't know what's been going on. This is the second time. I don't know if it's the concealer I'm using because I've definitely been using this powder for like ever. And it's like ashy underneath my eye. I have no idea what's going on. I don't have no lip on y'all. Ooh, I think I got some lip gloss in my purse. Of course, the girl always carries lip gloss in her purse. But not the one I need. Ugh. I don't think I got my gloss on. I switch out my purse so much. I think I took it out. I have a lippy, but or did it fall somewhere? No, I think I'm screwed. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come and let y'all know. Baby, maybe we had to take separate cars. He said he had something to do after, which I think I had something to do too. Um, it's Friday. Hopefully, our package comes. I order. Y'all already know I'm always order from Sheen. Even though we got plenty of clothes in our closet. Well, I, I know for a fact I could definitely, if worst case scenario, our package does not come, I know I can go in my closet and find some stuff. But the girls, I'm like, they grow so much. I know they got a lot of sandals. We just tried on all their sandals the other day. I'm not pretty sure they got outfits. They got like little short. They ain't grow that much from last summer. Um, it's going to be hot down there in Florida. But I bought some neat matching cute little items. I just always love the bottom girl stuff. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go drive by there right now and then we'll I'll text you. Thank you. Okay, babe. I think I locked my door. I know you did. How you? Right, I ain't gonna make it look The window's sticking out. Oh, uh, how you know the window's sticking out? Yeah, the window's sticking out. When the door locked, the window's coming up. The, the uh, mirror closing. Yeah, I surprised the girl. You said you gonna surprise the girl with that? Sure, sure. Okay, y'all. We're leaving our meeting. It went great. You follow me? Oh, yeah, no, I'm gonna follow I, I, you. We're gonna look at it and I'm gonna have it up here. I'm gonna follow you because I, you know, I began lost. So, oh my gosh, you guys, we nine times out of ten are going back. <laughs> I know y'all are probably like, girl, make a decision, make a decision. But that's why these meetings are important because the house that we found, um, thank you, the HOA and the property taxes. To that property up oh, signed it okay i'm about to go on the contract with another one put in an offer yesterday and they just called me and let me know that they accepted they had a counter but anyways um i guess i'm gonna follow babe so i'm just gonna wait for him to start driving but um oh this sandwich that i got it was not the best i don't remember it tasting like that but um I gotta follow babe so we're going to the community right now where the new property will be she told us to go over there and look and look at the land 
and I'm just super excited. Like I'm so happy like that, that it worked out because we were so, well we weren't so bummed because we told ourselves like when we were buying our home the first time, we were so inexperienced as first time home buyers and we were just like, we want it now, like we want our home now, like whatever and like I said, we didn't put God in our process like and consult with him and like really make sure that like, it was his timing. So then we ended up losing our inner 20 twice, all the other stuff we told y'all about, which wasn't a fault of us. But still, we just, if we would have put God into it, maybe he could have gave us some warning signs or some cues to like take heed to. And then we kind of just like overextended ourselves. So when we went and put, um, went to another, what am I trying to say y'all? When we went to another, our last apartment complex before the house that we got now we were like okay let's get out of these condos like let's go downsize for a little bit and then when we did that we put god into the process and god actually was heavily involved with the home that we currently are in and it was smooth sailing from the beginning to the end because we literally trusted and every single step of the way i was like god if this is a home for us da -da -da -da. god if this is the home for us or god align this da -da -da. and if it's not we're not going to share because when we went back looking we kept getting like outbid but we weren't willing to overbid for those homes because it was so much stuff that we did not like about those homes so we weren't like upset at all um <clears throat> And when we put in an offer for this one, it was like over 40 offers for the home that we own, own now. And we won, like we literally were like instantly selected after our offer was submitted. We put in 30,000 over asking and it was just such a easy process with our agent. And we just knew like it was nothing but God. So we told ourselves with this, with this process, we know like we don't want to get ourselves into a situation where we're just not happy after putting up so much money or doing so much stuff so we are allowing the process to take as long as it needs within reason of course but we're asking god to order ourselves because we love when i tell y'all we look and babe wanted to film when we went there but i was like no babe you're not filming this house because no um we don't need nobody trying to look us up trying to figure out this y'all already know i'm not even it's no elephant is gonna be in this room. I'm gonna call a spade a spade. Some of y'all are weird as fuck. Like y'all will go look stuff up and go, oh, this is this, oh, da 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 oh, can they afford it? Oh, this, that, and the third, mind your business. So we want you guys, I love my supporters. Like y'all are, like I told y'all yesterday, like some of y'all, a lot of y'all, majority of you guys are really like family to me. Like y'all been following me for years. So it's like, I shouldn't deprive my family of my milestones or, po or positive things that happen throughout our lives because of the haters in the room. Like, we're not gonna let the haters stop our show. Like, God is protecting us every single step of our way. Not even just with the house, but just, I am so blessed and anointed and protected by God. And I know he has the authority and I have the conviction that he's going to watch over every room that I step in, everything that I do, every part, part thing that I'm a part of, like every single aspect of my life, he's going to watch over it. So no matter what people try to do to talk down or be pessimistic about or negative and evil, I don't gotta worry about that. So this journey, this process is for genuinely our real supporters. And of course the haters just get a front seat to see like life is still going. I don't do anything to I told you so people or I don't do anything to brag like I'm super humble with all of my blessings and I pray so long for this to start happening and I'm just so grateful to share this project. okay and the, and how soon do you think they'll be able to start building from the time we lock it in um I think well I um, I know they got like land disturbance because of course they've already cleared uh, cleared and everything. Okay. He was just waiting on me to lock in on that plan. Um, and so with us being locked in, um, they'll now be able to tell the county what they, they, they're going to put there. Um, they're going to have to make some adjustments to the, um, to the plans in order to um, fit what you all want. Because like I said, I want to, I want, we're going to have the taller doors in there, um, the longer um, island. So we got to make sure that they got the right dimensions of the kitchen, because that's where the island will be, and um, the doors. And um, and it's, it, 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 it has to be a three-car garage. Yeah, all of those garages over there are where they're supposed to be three. The other two, you can see they didn't follow the 
the roof. Um, oh, there's yeah. just a two car garage, but yeah, it's supposed to be nothing but all three car garages and they all have to enter like on the side. Like none, no garages are in the front of the house. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, yes, yeah, so we definitely love it and we definitely want to move forward. So draft that up and send it over and then we'll review and sign and then be ready to go. All right, sounds like a plan and then we'll be in touch. Okay, talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, you guys. And I know I should definitely be waiting for talking to the other builder who I'm supposed to be talking to. He doesn't even know I'm going to be talking about this anyway because we're doing something else about real estate doing a podcast about real estate but i feel really confident the fact that we're getting it way under well, we're not going to get it way under because we did add some different things to the design that um let me go talk to jeremy i'm gonna talk to y'all later because jeremy in the car behind me and i need to tell her where she's at because at first we about to say no because i thought she was saying that two houses about to go right here but she was like no just y'all's house will go right here because this is huge he's oh my gosh i can't wait so once everything is signed, we'll come and do cute videos and announcement. But for right now, nothing is set in stone. This is just all tentative and we're crossing fingers that everything works out. So send us your prayers, you guys. And yeah. Hey guys, happy Saturday. It is three o'clock. And we are headed to, where are we going girls? Target. Target. And we got to keep it play. In the chicken place you already know and then getting some chicken like they said dropping off these wigs and um yeah that's pretty much it also they always shoot me home y'all hear that like this is why i just don't understand how some people don't embrace motherhood or fatherhood or parenthood and I know it's just like, it can be life changing because it definitely is. Like my life will never be the same. Like I was telling my friends, like sometimes when I'm at my friends and they don't have no care in the world, they can just leave, stay, do whatever they want to do. And it's like, I always gotta keep in mind like I'm a mom. So that's always gonna be on the back of my mind. But things like this, like mamas like this, like my girls are always like giving me a reminder that life is so beautiful like I'm so grateful to God for giving me this life I'm so grateful that he chose me to be here because this is just so amazing having like little ones like my daughter's cheering for me just come driving like where where do you do that at where do you find that at so anyways I just want to come and check in because I'm going to be editing my vlog for Monday today so that while i'm on vacation i really don't have to worry about anything so i already got a wig video already pre-approved and ready so then i have this vlog and then we can just enjoy the whole entire vacation and um and um i think i do i need to get another memory card because this camera is just so much bigger i just can't see myself towing this around babe is probably gonna have way more footage because he got the little portable camera i had got him for christmas denver Home of the yeah, Pimbers. Look at Jaya Dallas. Yeah, Look at her. Yeah, TT didn't brought them an Easter hey, basket. Yeah. Yeah. I want to smell it too. Oh. We've been holding it hostage since Valentine's Day. Okay, Leave it to the, the rich auntie to come yeah. over here and bring all this stuff for the girls. Show, show them what TT got y'all. They all came in this stuff, or you made this basket? Oh, oh Lord. She ain't had nothing in there. She ain't had nothing in there, and she so made it. So there were chocolates? The one they had had basketball chocolates. in it. It was like basketball, ninja turtles. They had Baby, I keep telling you. They cost $25 a thing. I don't know if I'm gonna pay that. They can't even see what kind of haul you doing. The camera lens right here. You just do fine. Just show yourself. Go smell the perfume that y'all got TT for her Valentine's Day gift. My sister had brought up the perfume she wanted. We been had a hostage over here for since Valentine's Day. Oh, really? That mommy, after, I went to Sephora. Mommy, after can we can after show the TT a trial dance for cheer for cheer. Take those shoes off. 
Y'all ready for tryout? Move it out the way. Okay, let me show you. Slow. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. One, three. No, not that. It's back and then back up. Good job. Good job. Jaya, you do the tryout dance. Oh, there you go. Oh, this does smell good. Mm. Mm. So this is what I got for her, y'all. Mm. It smells real good. I like that. Okay, we ready for you. Put that tie back on. Go, go, go. Remember the facials, because Journey did it without me telling her. Now, one, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two. Three, four, five, seven. One, two, three. Uh-uh. The last part. You didn't go back out again. It's just supposed to be. Y'all all doing that last part wrong. Okay, here comes Jory. Jory, take your shoes off, baby. Jory, let's see you do the trial dance. Jory's trying out this year, y'all. By the time y'all see this vlog, we'll know a team okay, thing. Jerry. Oh, no, no, no. Y'all won't know because they try out after this vlog come out. Okay, hold on. Let me do your counts. Remember the facial. So far, Journey did the best facial. Jai, you did your routine the best. Journey did performance the best. Let's see what Jory gonna do the best. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, three, four, five. Careful, baby, you gotta tuck that head. You didn't do the roll right. You didn't tuck that head. That's why you couldn't go over right. Okay, five, seven, eight. One, two, three. Good. You did um best what is it called? Most most improved. <laughs> you did good, Jory, overall for this to be your first year junior journey. You did really good with your performance. I love to watch you perform. Jaya, you are very clean and tight, so I like that about you.